Can you tell me how many of... Well, I can't even remember how many times I've been in jail. I've been in that all my life, I've been in and out. Just, all your life? Yeah. Since I was 18, like, I've had just about every birthday. Why? In the I don't know. I was just, um, yeah, I don't know. I've really had a bit of a rough life up, you know, like growing up and that, and haven't got family and stuff, so, yeah, it was taken away when I was kids, brought to Adelaide. You... you didn't grow up with your no. parents. Who did you grow up with? I just kept getting fostered out and fostered out. And you've been most of your adult life in prison. Yep. Waste of life. That is a bit of a waste, yeah. isn't it? Do you think that you've had a fair go, or were things stacked against you? Well, I reckon that everyone makes their own decisions. I'm the one who made more bad decisions that's made me end up doing silly things that gets me into jail. How were you selected to get into this program when you've been a recidivist for so long? Yeah. Many times. Well, I just said I just wanted a sh I just wanted a chance. Just give me a shot, and they gave it to me. And look at me now. I've been here. I've had four dogs now, so and probably more to come. How do you feel about yourself? I feel good. It makes me feel good. I bet it does. Yeah, you, this is the best program to come in jail. Really? Yeah. I'm I'm lucky to be able to work in this program. I'm very lucky. Not coming back after this one. This is my last time. I know I've said it, everyone says it all the time, but this is actually but my last time. But you mean it this time? Yeah, I definitely mean it. Once I've got stable and everything, I'm going to get a dog from this program. I want to get. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to adopt a dog yeah. from this program. That will make me feel good that I'm helping a, 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 another dog lot have a better life. I'm ready. So proud of you. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Although Israel blames himself. I can't help feeling the odds have been stacked against him. Australia has a long history of removing Aboriginal children from their families. And today, they're nearly ten times more likely to be taken into state care than non-Indigenous children. What's more, as adults, First Nations people are seven times more likely to be charged with an offence and much more likely to be incarcerated. To me, that says the system is failing. The fair go shouldn't be a question, is it for old, is it for, is it for young, is it, is it for people in the country or people in the town? Or dependent on the colour of your skin. A fair go is a fair go for everybody or it isn't a fair go.